This morning in the late breaking clinical trial sessions, we heard Will Abraham from Columbus, Ohio, talk to us about the VLAP device in the Vector HA trial. So the VLAP device is a novel device which is inserted transfemorally, transvenously uh, to the interatrial septum and contains a pressure sensor that is able to, to detect the pressure in the left atrium. So this is really a completely novel, first in man, uh, technology that will enable us to get direct pressure measurements from the left atrium. Uh, this is highly interesting. The trial only so far contained two patients and Dr. Abraham presented some hemodynamic data and, and, and experience from those two patients. So it's really a very early stage uh, for talking about this trial. Hemodynamics have really evolved uh, uh, over time in, in heart failure. In the 80s and 90s, we used hemodynamics a lot in the diagnosis of heart failure and in the evaluation of new therapies. But with trials such as the SCAPE trial uh, that did not show any effect of using pulmonary artery catheters in acute decompensated heart failure, this really went away for almost 10 years. Now the hemodynamics are back. We have multiple centers in the pulmonary artery and other places that really enable us to manage our patients better. And that's been shown in several trials. The, the novel VLAP device uh, is interesting because it measures the if atrial pressure directly. And we have not had a device so far that does that unless it was surgically implanted. And I think truly that this is going to give us some information that we cannot get from other devices. So I'm, I'm really interested in seeing what the trial would show. The, tr the, 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 the device needs to be safe. We've previously seen other devices, such as a, the device used in the laptop trial, which was stopped due to uh, um, adverse events. And, and, and certainly that's not acceptable for, for these kind of devices. Also, we need the device to be accurate. We need uh, to be able to rely on the pressure measurements we get. And so far, the data presented today was not necessarily completely reassuring in that way. But of course, we need more data to, uh, to tell from the, from the Vector HF trial whether this is really going to be uh, accurate over time or so. If so, I think the device is promising and I'm, I'm really truly looking forward to seeing the final results of this Vector HF trial. I think over time we will learn that these devices that give us accurate hemodynamic measurements are going to be very helpful for our patients uh, in managing their, their heart failure symptoms and, and improving their outcomes.